So, first things first, we gotta do the Birdman. Birdman money hands for Aerodrome Finance right now. Now, I gave you guys this token in my Telegram group at 50 cents. Actually, at 40 cents, I gave this token to my personal friends on Instagram at 50 cents. And right now, we are sitting at a level of a dollar and 34 cents up 43 percent on the day right now as long as you know where the best narratives are and you know what the market tends to trend to it is easy to find these type of tokens so in this video we are going to look at the bitcoin chart to see if we should even still be hunting for more of these tokens right now so let's just get right into it first things first the bitcoin chart right here so a lot of people and meme coins and altcoins in general don't understand why we always start these videos off looking at the bitcoin chart it's because bitcoin is the it's like the front of the train you know what i'm saying if there's no front of the train pulling all the rest of things on the track we're not going anywhere sorry sorry <laughs> So Bitcoin is letting us know where all these other coins are going to go as far as I'm concerned. I've been in crypto since 2017 and I've been seeing it happen every since. Even though this cycle we see a lot more people bypassing Bitcoin, going straight into Solana, going straight into Avalanche, going straight into meme coins. We do see that, but Bitcoin is still running the show overall for the overall liquidity. When we look at Bitcoin on the daily chart right here, this is great. We see that we bounced back above this 13 moving average, getting nice and well above it. And when we look at this weekly chart right here, what we see is something very, very interesting in my opinion. We have this blue line right here, which is the 13 moving average. This is the bull run line as far as I'm concerned. As long as we steep, we keep bouncing on this trend line, the bull run will continue. It will continue as long as we keep bouncing there. So right now, we are well above it. If we do come down, we could bounce on some of these lower levels down here, and I wouldn't be too concerned because it would still be below that 13 moving average. So when we go to the monthly here we can see that things actually don't look as crazy as they look on that daily chart it looks very similar to this over here what we had was this resistance here we came down had the bear market we came back up tapped it and then we went straight up for about five months straight right now we are doing something very similar but we haven't actually had um, a red month yet so I'm wondering when are we gonna have that red month but I don't know if it's gonna happen yet because we are barely getting this month right here where we first break the all-time high that's barely happening right now so things can look good um, in that regard for the Bitcoin price so it's looking overall good for our altcoins here's our altcoin chart right here now I put these levels in the chart starting right here at this um, yellow level and they've been hitting these levels every since the next level we got right here is the 1.5 trillion dollar level which as long as Bitcoin is going up I don't think we have a problem hitting um, that level right there so things are looking overall good for the altcoin market in that regard so in some of the news we have going on we have nilam resource plans to buy 24 uh, 1500 BTC so the South American gold and precious metals producer Nilam resources announces his plan to purchase about 1.7 billion dollars worth of Bitcoin so they're joining Michael Saylor on this Bitcoin race saying that they are gonna pump the markets and this is what we've been waiting for since 2017 once these institutions start getting in, once you got BlackRock getting bullish, once you have Michael Saylor making a bunch of money, once you see Tesla um, having a bunch of gains on their balance sheet because of Bitcoin, you have other companies from all around the world noticing this trend and trying to get in on a piece of the action. So this is why we're super, super, super bullish on Bitcoin overall. Now, the SEC is scrutinized for its abuse of power in their um, Ethereum probes. They're wondering why you guys are acting silly so that's good to see that the sec which was our biggest um person that we were battling with in crypto is is getting beat up they're getting sent to the wayside so that is also pretty pretty great um that's also pretty great so overall 
things are looking very bullish right now is the time to take advantage of this market if you guys want to get into my telegram group i do have links in the description for that it is a cheap ten dollar fee right now to ask any questions you want let's vet some cryptocurrencies let's look at portfolios let's get this money together also my daily watch list that i have is also doing great um and there's a bunch of tokens that the guys have been calling out in the group that have been doing very very great so shout out to all of them shout out to all you guys shout out to the end of the video squad for making it this far of the video let's have some fun in this bull run y'all think positive and positive things will happen my disappointment is immeasurable and my day is ruined i i promise i was not trying to rhyme with that right i mean my bad that was kind of weak but yeah y'all think positive and positive things will happen r.i.p to crypto roots and remember never finish a negative statement about currency till next time peace